So have you ever thought of history from an immortal's standpoint? So here we go. Um, my immortal goddess return is in the scope of the next few turns of the generational whatever. The history I was watching and living through as an immortal as Mandrake's wife, Drusilla, um, and preparing for uh, my rebirth and trying, we own kingdom surface, S-U-R, with our face, F-A-C-E, and then we own kingdom elsewhere. Um, so the thing is, we're the most recognized immortals throughout all era, space, and time. Um, so here's the thing. I am in charge of entire kingdom business. Like the big fish, we are responsible for keeping n wars from breaking out and from dangerous new techniques of money moving around. My problem is when I come to a piece and parcel of the kingdom and then uh, new things break out. So, Yosef, which is what we called him, but we'll say in dirty English, it's Joseph, J-O-S-E-F, for my uh, appreciation of Joseph M Mengele. I don't know. I mean, you pronounce it different in Austrian and German. M-E-N-G-E-L-E. -E -E. He was considered the angel of death. A-N-G-E-L-D-E-A-T-H. Um, historical... Kevorkian, if you will. Now, here's the thing. Um, there's a few different aspects of this for all area stupid fucking new Jew. Um, the new Jews that you are um, outside of, like, you know, your surface, like street idiots um, that uh, move things in more dangerous directions because you're too fucking stupid to, like, listen to reason. Um... Someone gathered up some angry, loudmouthed Jews in Poland and put them in a cage. I had nothing to do with it. I'm fighting my own battle where they broke my genetic line in. So I'm trying to help all the children but spread thin in immortals coming back to try to help you idiots along the way, not break the future. So someone put Jews in a cage. Now here's my top Jew conversation. Uh, okay, so I know why he did it, and I know why you're mad. How is me helping either one of you going to get my family into a crown spot so when I become alive on the surface of Earth, I don't have an upcoming issue? There's a red stripe between the two of you. Both of you are at fault. That's the way the conversation goes. Second conversation is, now I know you want to keep them caged and you're not letting them go. You want to see them go. And um, my thing is, I don't like human suffering. So if I send in angel of death to put some form of humanity back into this stupid fucking argument that I could give two shits less about. I need to get my family back in because I got more serious things going on. Um, I don't understand. Why is Joseph Mengele, uh, or Mengele, why is he the asshole and made to be a fucking modern in 2020? Um, I mean, he's a war hero as far as I'm concerned. He was the one humane person who said, you know what? I don't, you know, I'll go in. I don't want to be classified as a Jew lover on my side of Nazis. I don't want to get in trouble. But if I get the angel of death pass, I'll go in and I'll put them down humanely. Rather than making them starve and stand out in the cold, in the rain, with no clothes, no showers, no med... I mean, work, 
slave, like slaves, like you have no fucking idea. The blacks that in America, <laughs> I wish I could call up my big daddy rush a friend, whoever put Poland in Auschwitz, whatever, whoever did that. I know I gave you Hitler and I'm angel of death, so nobody gives a shit. Um, okay, so, right. And, but you also realize all these medical experiments <laughs> on the Jews that you keep claiming from the Nazis who were the assholes. I know we're the assholes. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. You keep saying that stupid Jew. We're all in Jew land together. It's, it looks like fucking modern hell, by the way. Your kids, my kids, so shut the fuck up. Um, your all area medical degree in New York? Oh my god, it's like a Jew haven. You should be fucking kissing my Nazi fucking shoes for the ability to have such accurate medicine and medical procedures for you to have a medical license in New York. So next time you want to pick up a checkbook or a phone or you want to dial a friend, you better remember we're both white and at some point we were both Jews. At some point I'm always the Nazi because I'm in the Gestapo. I happen to love Stalin, Hitler, and ev ev anything that I hear a fucking New Day, like Americans say was bad. They were war heroes as far as I'm concerned to all the fucking area pussies I woke up to. That's what you are, America. You're a bunch of fucking Jew pussies because you wouldn't let the fucking Nazi come clean house and the Russians like we fucking wanted to. And Elizabeth's like, oh, I'm going to pull my skirt up over my head. Everybody look at my pussy. That's what America is. That's what it will always be. Oh, my God. Anything English really fucking stupid. <gasps> yeah, Elizabeth. Right. You're Ukraine and Russia. We're looking at you, hon, going, you're a fucking dipshit. And why didn't anybody execute you? Uh, the Nazi and the angel of death was and Stalin, Hitler, we're Kataruza. The Tsar, the Caesar, we're like, uh, no, if she sits in the London crown, uh, honestly, Ukraine, I need, uh, all area, like, I need her to fucking go down. Like, somebody knocked out, um, JFK, that was my fam, one of my branches of family member, which was not cool, but then we took down two of the fucking children that really needed to fucking go home. Um, so, here's the thing, you all seem to have forgotten who's who, what's what. I have, like, a white brotherhood that wraps the entire world of we're God's children. I'm not going with the word Jew because you pissed off a whole lot of fucking people throughout history and in modern day. Um, I like Hebrews that, that read the Torah. Uh, I like them as much as I like the Muslims that read the Quran. The Quran coming in a K, a C, or a Q. I know my world and global appreciation things. What I'm not appreciative of is me coming awake in New York and having all of the children of the world that I like when they're in their own homes invading my territory because I have Jews pissed at white Jews pissed at white Nazis, white Poland and white Ukraine fighting with white Russia. And then fucking Elizabeth sitting over there going, I don't know what to I don't know. I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. Well, you shouldn't have fucking sat on a big girl's fucking velvet rope, you stupid fucking cunt. That's what you shouldn't have done. Angel of Death did tell you that. Mm. Uh, and your, like, posse party that was putting pussies in the fucking leadership for I don't know what reason. Major fucking issue. So now I've got um, the nobody let us invade America, which we were when we were invading America, we were weaponizing the whites and we were cleaning out house going, uh, no, we are by force putting you on boats and we're sending you back where we know you came from because we documented it at extraterrestrials from elsewhere as you were fucking making landfall. I know the pussies on the fucking land. You cry a big fucking story. You got yourself in nights. Nice. You're like, I live in Detroit. I live in Florida. 
Florida. I live in Georgia. Georgia's our state. No, no, it's not. But I know that that's where you all settled and you keep letting more time go on so the white kids forget. Uh, but here's the thing. We don't forgive and forget. The white kids forgive and forget each other going, we're going to need, I'm going to need a big daddy rush at some point. You guys are like some, some strong dudes. Same with you, Nazi daddy in Germany. I'm going to need some of your loving very soon. Um, I love Kevorkian. I love Joseph Mengele. I love uh, Stalin. I love Hitler. I love every dad that ever lived and was like ready to like do the right thing. What I fucking hate more than anything is Louis Cataruza. Louis Cataruza is like, I like dark meat. <laughs> What does that mean? Let's, you married a white woman. Don't say that in public. Jesus Christ. They're going to think like you like to sleep with black prostitutes. What the fuck is wrong with you, weirdo? I mean, it's like, gee, the whole... All of 1940s went down in, in Bayside, Queens. It was like, I got the Korean dad of like, I don't, no fucking cock. And it's like this big... Uh, where are all, like, the big Stalin and big Nazi dads with, like, big cocks that, like, like, yeah! Like, I don't want the little, like, you, you don't even know that they, like, mm, whatever. Right. So, um, I, how do we get all these children away? Because, uh, I know you promised me that if I woke up and I was still having a white problem, um, here's the thing. I worked at Chase Bank. Right. So, uh, when I worked at Chase Bank, I had my securities. I worked at Merrill Lynch also. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Finner, Finch. Uh, there I worked for, I think it was like 20 something thousand dollars a year. Then they miraculously gave me like a $55 an hour raise. I was like, Oh wow. And I showed Peter. I was like, should I say anything? He's like, I wouldn't. I'm like, okay, great. Now I'm actually up to like, maybe I could afford a house one day. Um, and so, um, that was that, that was in 97, 98, trying to make some money because I was living with Linda and Lou and Nicholas hadn't come yet. And then he came and then he left and then he never came back. And then I got pregnant with Jason's kid that I never wanted. I didn't even want to fucking be near him. I was like, oh. and by the way, Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E, the girl who was sitting between me and Nicklaus the day that he showed up at like quantum, uh, quantitative analysis, which is QA for uh, Hofstra University. It was a class that he just appeared in, like hottest guy I'd ever seen. And then like, was like, psst, psst, blondie. And I was like, me? <laughs> like, wait a minute. Why is, like, the hottest guy I've ever seen want to talk to me? Like, what? <laughs> like, and where did you come from? Because there guys don't look like that in Long Island. <laughs> There's not one that looks like that in New York or Long Island. I've checked. <laughs> so, uh, right, yeah, so that worked out well. I had to go to business law across the hall, and then I went to his dorm room, and then didn't leave for, like, whatever until he had to leave. Um, so that's our all area business of I could kill everybody on the face of the earth. As long as I have him, I'm good. Um, so let's see. Um, right, so then I had the problem with him leaving. Oh, right, and then he left, and Janice is like, wow, where's your, where's your boyfriend? Why is he in class today? And I was just like, I can't. I was like, I'm gonna. I was like, I'm gonna start crying again because I cried. I cried like a fucking baby. The minute he left, all the way through to the next day. I mean, it was. I was a wreck. Um, and uh, I told Janice that too. I was like, I really, I can't talk about it right now. I said because every time I start to think about him, I was like, I start crying. I said I have no idea where he went. He said he had to go home. I guess uh, he's international. I guess I don't know what. The, I don't know what. Why? I don't know when he's coming back. I don't have a phone number. The whole thing's just weird. It just doesn't seem right. I said, and she's like, Yeah, I don't get that. She's like, You guys seem like you were really like into one another. Like he really liked you, and I'm like, Yeah, I really liked him too. I didn't want to see him leave. I was like, That's like a once in a and that's what I said. A once in a lifetime opportunity. I was like, They don't make people in our area that look like that i was like you know and she was just she started laughing she's like no you're right i'm like yeah i know um as i choked back tears by the way so uh I, that's why this whole fucking thing to me never made sense um and on elsewhere record for my surface uh, I said, I don't care how many fucking people you have to kill. I don't care the names, whatever. I was like, you just keep shooting until you fucking get me the fuck out of New York. 
and you can let the white kids cry about their New York or their country or whatever. Nobody gives a shit. You don't want to fucking fight for it back in the 1900s, 1800s, the 1940s. You want to have a fucking a pussy nation? Well, you fucking got it. I hope you're fucking happy.